It has been a while since I have had this camera out. Um, in short, I have had <coughs> a hell of a year and I've hardly done any fishing whatsoever. We're now right at the end of September and I am at a lake called La Giorette in Italy. And um, it's just good to have the rods out, to be perfectly honest with you. So basically, this lake I heard about from a, a friend of mine, Belgian Bob, who I met on Ghost Park a few years ago when I was out in Italy and he came over to here that week and was messaging me and saying how many he caught he's also been back again this year and caught an awful lot of fish he had over a hundred in a week so anyway first week of december last year i got in touch with uh got in touch with the lake and to book it up and i wanted to come out in september late september which it is now um and all of the best swims were all taken so the swim that was left was the swim that i'm in called pontil and i messaged Bob and said what's the swim like and pretty much he said it's rubbish um, but you know what I just thought there's so many fish in here I'm bound to catch something as long as I can catch a few in the week and have a week off actually just fishing which I uh, contrary to popular belief very rarely get to do uh, so I booked it anyway <clears throat> and we set off on Friday had a big delay at the tunnel um, and then I've got a water leak in the van, so I have to stop every hour and a half to top up with water. So the journey was a bit, bit of a mission as it was. And uh, oh yeah, and on top of that, as we drove through Switzerland in the middle of the night, drove through a horrendous thunderstorm, thunder and lightning, very very frightening, all that sort of thing. Um, but it all added to it, to be honest with you. Don't ever let come into Italy. Don't ever let the journey put you off because. It's actually part of the fun of it. I think we, we drove for about 12 and a half hours, including the stops, which isn't horrendous. And you see some amazing sights on the way through. Switzerland is brilliant to drive through, absolutely stunning. Although we drove through it in the dark, on the way back we'll get to go through it in the daylight. And I'm quite looking forward to that. Not that I'm looking forward to going home, by the way, because I'm not. Anyway, so yeah. Um, so before I'd come, I'd sort of set myself some goals. This lake's um, known for the fact it's got a lot of koi in it. Not massive ones, but a lot of koi. And I know they're not everyone's cup of tea, but I quite like them. And you don't get to catch catch them very often. So I'd sort of set myself a goal of catching a koi. I wanted to catch a fish over 40 pound because although there's a bazillion fish in here, I don't think there's loads and loads of big ones. I think you have to get through quite a lot of small ones to get to a big one. So that was a bit of a challenge for myself. And the other challenge I've set myself is to try and catch one stalking. I've basically, the, the best thing about this swim is you sort of get the whole bank at this end of the lake so I think the lake's about 12 acres something like that so I've got, I've got a whole bank um, and I've already had fish feeding really close in literally I don't know if you can see my hand because of the sun but literally down next to me where I'm sitting at the moment I'm on like a swim that's a pontoon hence the pontoon and I've had a fish feeding literally a couple of feet from the bank not a big one but I just thought that would give myself a little bit of a little bit of a challenge for the week so yeah a koi fish over 40 pound and one stalking so anyway Yesterday, we got here at about half eight in the morning and then obviously by the time you've got everything set up and the, we're here for a week, I'm here with Karen as well, so I've got the two man and all sorts, you know, there's a lot to sort out. By the time I actually got the rods out, it was probably afternoon and I've no idea what I'm doing. Uh, I think all the lakes in Italy seem to be deep, but this one is particularly deep. So I spawned a spot at 10 wraps, which is 31 foot. Bombed a spot at 10 wraps, which is um, 31 foot deep. Started there, and my left hand rod, I was fishing up the left hand margin in only 12 foot, which I really liked. What wasn't mega confident in the um, deep rods, but I don't know anything about the lake. I don't know whether that's how you catch them or whether you have to fish close in. I didn't really know what was what. So, anyway, that's how I started. And then about four o'clock in the afternoon, the predicted thunderstorm came and it really chucked it down, like really chucked it down. And despite the fact that me and Dan had sprayed two layers of fab seal all over the bivy, it still leaked. <laughs> Not really bad, but it did, it did leak. 
Um, anyway, yes, where was I? So in the middle of this thunderstorm, chucking it down with rain, thunder, lightning, and of course then the left-hand rod ramps off. So I've come out in the rain, and when I say I was soaked to the skin, I mean I literally rang my underwear out afterwards from the rain before anyone says anything. And uh, yeah, I thought I know, the fish looked like a good one, you know, and I thought, oh, brilliant, I've got, got me 40 pound our first fish. Anyway, it turned out to be 39 pound, eight ounces, common. Um, in the middle of the downpour, which was quite quite eventful, but yeah, so we've got a little bit of that on film. did put that rod straight back out again and was planning to fish right into the evening but absolutely as you can imagine after the drive I only managed to get two hours sleep we pulled over in a, in a like our services I managed to get two hours sleep so I was absolutely knackered so in the end I decided you know what we'll wind all the rods in this lake's quite interesting in that it's, it's got like this long pontoon thing that sticks out into the lake with a, a cage on it where they grow koi and it's also got a restaurant right on the side of the lake so we thought you know what we'll wind in we'll go to the restaurant Went to the restaurant and the food was amazing. We had mushroom risotto and then some um, beef type thing, I don't know, but yeah, absolutely amazing. With dessert and everything and the whole lot with, with we had a litre and a half of wine and the whole thing come to 46 euros for the two of us, which I thought was pretty darn decent. Uh, and like I say, the food was excellent, really good. So the nice thing was then didn't have any rods out so I could just have a proper night's sleep. So we came back went to bed pretty early and had a really good night's sleep so this morning I was up half past six and ready to rock put the left hand rod back out where it was in the first place I've changed the other spots to slightly closer in uh, and within 10 minutes left hand rod went off and I had a really nice little koi I say it was about 10 pound um, so that's the first one ticked off of my list so yeah day one is only nine o'clock in the morning and uh, it's uh, I've already ticked off the koi. I suppose it's day two really, because yesterday was day one, but I didn't didn't fish for more than a couple of hours, but we'll call it day two. So yeah, day two, had this nice little koi, and I've baited up a couple of spots in the edge. I'm gonna keep baiting them for the next day or two, unless I see anything on them today, and I'll see if I can see if I can tick the stalking one off as well. I think the 40 is just gonna be, uh, well, it will just be a, a luck one really, you know, hopefully I'll catch enough fish to wade through some to catch a good one. And the other target that I've decided to set myself today is I want to try and catch 20 fish this week. Now, you can probably hear and see fish jumping behind me all the time, so you'll think, well, that shouldn't be difficult. But like I say, I am on one of the worst swims, apparently. I don't know the lake at all. I'm only going on what I know from, from Bob. But uh, apparently this is one of, the, one of the toughest swims. I don't know whether it's the depth is different to everywhere else. I don't know. But so I figure 20 is probably a reasonable target. That's roughly three a day. So... That's what I'm going to aim at, and I'll keep you updated and let you know how it all goes. I will be back to you with anything to report. afternoon everybody it is about two o'clock I think on day three and I thought I'd better give you a little update of where we're up to so last time I spoke to you yesterday I think I'd just caught a little koi um, after that I put a rod back out on the 10 wrap spot that I was saying about that's 33 foot deep and I had two bites off of that spot in the afternoon unfortunately I lost both of them uh, the first one found a snag just down to the left of the swim and the second one the hook pulled when I got it all the way in. They both felt like um, like decent fish to be honest with you. And then yesterday afternoon I caught another small... Apologies. Um, 
apologies. Then yesterday afternoon I caught another, yesterday evening I should say, I caught another small koi off of the close in spot. I feel like I could probably catch a koi down this right hand margin whenever I wanted to. Every time I put a handful of bait in they come in and start feeding but I haven't seen anything big there yet so I'm leaving that alone. If I start seeing big fish feed there then I'll, uh, I'll go back to it. But Yeah and I left all the rods out last night and didn't catch any through the night at all which was really strange. They were still showing constantly all through the night but no bites whatsoever. So this morning I got up bright and breezy um, about half five, 20 to six I was up rebaiting all the rods, put them all back out again and literally within minutes I caught another koi. It was only a small one and I literally unhooked it and put it back as you'll see on the camera. Um, shortly after that I tried a new spot on what is my number two rod. Um, not fishing miles out but, but sort of in between the two ranges that I've been fishing and it went off within 20 minutes so I really thought I'd cracked it and unfortunately that one found the same snag down to the left of the swim as the one I lost yesterday. Anyway, wound all the rods in, put a little bit of bait out and went round and had a nice shower and got myself all sorted out and freshened up ready for the afternoon. For some reason, the feeding time here at the moment seems to be between sort of one and four or five o'clock, which is bizarre. It's the hottest part of the day and that seems to be when everyone starts getting bites. So I made sure I was back for then. Rod's back out and again within only five, ten minutes the rod out on the 30, 33 foot deep spot rattled off and I had, uh, had this nice 38 pound mirror. So yeah it was good to get a better one and, um, and off of that spot as well. So that's that spot there that's 33 foot deep which I thought I was going to end up avoiding altogether has done three bites so far so I've now put back to my original plan from day one when I got here I've put two rods back out on that spot now. Seeing as all three fish that I've hooked there, I've only landed one off of that spot, but the other two I hooked felt big, bigger than the one I landed, if I'm honest. So I feel like probably not going to get as many bites by fishing that spot, but I do feel like that's where the bigger fish are, down in that deep water maybe. So, yeah, so I've put two rods out on that, and I'm going to persevere on that, and maybe I'll keep chopping and changing with the other two to try and figure out a decent depth or range where I can get bites regularly. Because, like I say, I know I'm, I'm sure I should be catching more than I am. Um, I think I'm up to five carp now. Yeah I've had a 39 and a half common, 38 and then I've had three um, three little koi. Oh and I also this morning I forgot to say I had a I think it's a channel catfish but I've no idea like dark coloured catfish which was 18 to 20 pound I suppose off this right hand margin rod as well. Um, wouldn't be too disappointed not to catch another one if I'm completely honest. But anyway something to do. Yeah, so now I've just got to try and figure out some spots for the other two rods. Uh, maybe, like I say, I'll keep playing around with them. I'm, I'm tempted now. I've started getting bites off of this 33-foot spot. I'm tempted just to just to go long, you know, maybe fish at 20 wraps or something like that, where it's going to be over 40 foot deep, I think. And, and that's where they're showing all the time. Whether they're getting down to the bottom there or not, I don't know. But we'll see what happens by the end of today. And if, if them other two rods aren't producing anything... Tomorrow I may well just give it a go and see what happens fishing down. You never know, I haven't seen anyone fishing far out. Every single person I've seen is fishing 20 to 30 yards at the most. Most of them are fishing 15 to 20 yards. Uh, they're all Italians and what they seem to do is literally flick a PVA bag out, like I say, 20 odd yards, and then put a couple of big scoops with a long arm scoop over the top of it. Um, which, I mean, I was, I was positive that using proper distance sticks getting everything bang on I was positive that I was going to be ripping it apart but they're, they're catching more than me to be fair <laughs> so uh, that's that's probably food for thought as well I'm going to keep building this spot on the 33 foot deep bit because like I say I've had three bites on there now so I feel like that's obviously a decent enough area uh, I've just got to figure out something for the others so that's what I'm going to be doing for the afternoon trying to figure out what I'm doing with my life and uh, I'll come back to you if I've got anything to report morning all and welcome to day four here in Italy. Uh, I've lost one already this morning and now I've just had this 
I suppose it's got koi in it, more common than koi, but first one of the day, I'll show you this one and then I'll give you a bit of an update as to what's been going on because yesterday ended up to be a pretty decent day. If you'll let me. About 14 odd pound, I suppose, not massive. There, but I'm sure there are better ones to come. Yeah, there we go. Still, good start to the day, onwards and upwards. Right, so as promised, I'm going to give you an update. I uh, haven't updated since yesterday and a lot has happened so I've actually had to uh, get my notebook out to have a look. I've got a feeling the last time I spoke yesterday was when I just had a 38 pound mirror. Um, as you know I'd set myself some targets for the week. Um, my targets were to catch 20 fish, catch a fish over 40 pound, catch a koi and catch one stalking. Well as soon as I'd finished doing yesterday's update I found the fish feeding in the edge and there was a couple of dark shapes there which meant they weren't just the koi. So I quickly grabbed a rod, went down there and lowered it into the edge and within 10 minutes I caught a little mirror, it's only about 13 pound. But that was the fish stalking ticked off the list. Um, literally straight after that, in fact I think we might have literally still had the mirror, the little mirror in the net, I'm not sure. One of the rods out on the 33 foot spot ripped off and I had the most amazing fight with this fish. It, basically snagged me up on someone's old line but I knew it felt like quite a good fish and in the end we had to pass the rod round the trees and walk down the bank with it and all sorts. Karen helped and we, I ended up landing it from the swim next door. Got it out of the, the old line broke and I got all that in thankfully with the rig and everything still in its mouth um, with a lead that could never come off by the way uh, on lead core as well which is banned but anyway got it in and that was uh, £44 2 ounce common. Um, so yeah have a look at that now. Well, this is back off of the 33 foot deep spot where I put two rods on it. The right hand one, the one that I just put on there, has gone off. I've had the biggest one so far, which is 44 pound, two ounces. I had all sorts of fun and games. I went through a massive snag and that's a, I don't know how long, how long did that take to get in 20 minutes more? More than that. But we got there in the end and <sighs> 44 pound, two ounces. It's been a good day. <sighs> Thank you very much. <sighs> yes. Right, so after that fish, I was quite confident then that that 33 foot deep spot was going to be the spot, so I moved my right hand margin spot. Uh, out there alongside it, so I'm now fishing two on that further out spot. And over the next two hours, I caught another four yesterday evening. I had a 20, a 22, a 13, and then another 22. So mostly they're averaging around 20 ish pound. I, th I would think, like I said before, that you're getting a load of young stockfish and then the really old fish, and the old fish are the big ones, which are obviously the ones we're after. Anyways, so uh, yeah, I ended up with eight carp and that weird cat type thing. Uh, um, Malcolm told me it's possibly a channel cat. If any of you know what type of cat that is, stick it in the comments below. I'd be interested to know. Um, anyways, so come the evening time, pretty shattered. It was very hot again yesterday. So I wound the rods in for the evening, put plenty of bait out there and just rested it overnight. Had a good night's sleep. Got back up at six o'clock this morning. Got the rod straight back out. Literally within about 20 minutes, I had one on and I lost it to a hook pull. Funny enough, I've had two hook pulls. I've lost two in the snags, or maybe three in the snags actually, I think, um, and two hook pulls. And both the hook pulls have come on hinge stiffies, which is what I use all the time at home. I haven't had a hook pull, touch wood, on um, the snowman rig. So I put snowman rigs on all four rods now, obviously, uh, because they're staining. Anyways, so first thing this morning, after I'd lost that fish, only an hour later, I had another small koi from down the margin spot. I've now kept two rods out on the further spot, but I've moved a rod to the right, so I've still got one on that margin spot. I thought I might as well have that down there to keep getting regular bites while I'm waiting for a big one on the others. 
but as it's turned out, the others have just gone bananas today anyway. Um, so I had a yeah, 13 pound koi down there and then I had a 36 pound common. Uh, no, I didn't, I had a 30 pound six ounce common from out on the 33 foot spot. Then I had an 11 pound common, a 23 12 mirror, a 25 mirror, a 20 pound common, 24 pound common and a 25 pound mirror. That leads us up to literally about half an hour ago. It's now just coming up to three o'clock. So bearing in mind yesterday's bites didn't even start till quarter past four. I'm reasonably confident that there'll be a few more. And if there are, then I'm gonna do more regular updates because otherwise I can't keep up with it. And I'll, uh, yeah, I'll update you again this evening once I get the rods in probably, let you know how the rest of the day turned out. But for now, that's where I'm at. And I will uh, update you again later on today. So an update as promised, if the fish will let me do an update. Um, it's only like nine o'clock in the morning and I've already had two bites this morning. So uh, I've only had the rods out a couple of hours. So we'll try and get an update done anyway. It is day six. Didn't do a, a day five update because it was carnage. Um, I ended up on 13 carp, two cats, and lost three yesterday. So yeah, I had 18 odd bites. And again, wound in at seven. And I know Spence, you're gonna be thinking, oh, wine's in for the night, I wouldn't wine in for the night. I tell you, it is exhausting. <laughs> in a very good way, but yeah, it's exhausting. So if you think every morning I get up, put a few spawns on each spot, and then two or three spawns over each rod every time I get a bite, and then 20 odd spawns on each spot before I go to bed in the evening, so that you sort of hold some fish there ready for the morning, it is knackering. But I'm certainly not complaining of that, it's been amazing fishing. Um, very hard to get through the smaller fish to get to the big ones. Um, but I did manage a good one yesterday. I had an awful lot of small carp first. I only had one fish over 30 pound, but it was 46 pound, two ounces. Which strangely enough is exactly the same size as my English personal best. I've only just realised that. Um, but yes, yeah, so, so there you go, you had them up to 46 pounds yesterday, so have a quick look at the 46 pounder now. Yeah, that was a cracker, that fish, so, um, in total, since my last update, I've caught 18 more carp, uh, three more cats, and I've lost four fish since then as well. In fact, five, because I just had a hook pull then, literally, as soon as I picked the rod up. So, 18, what's that, 22, 25, 26 bites since my last update. Getting through an awful lot of leads and an awful lot of bait. Um, just using pellet corn, boily, and crushed boily mixed together. And like I say, the, the key is definitely keeping it going regularly. If I go for an hour without a bite, I'll put one spawn over each rod on the, the two, two rods on that 33 foot deep spot. And pretty much within 20 minutes, one of them will go off. So it, it's quite constant and there's steps down to the swim. So it, it's, yeah, physically, it's, it's knackering me out. Imagine what it do to you at your age, Spence. Um, yeah, I'll give, I'll give you a quick breakdown of the fish I've had since the last update. I've had a 24 common, a 22 mirror, 46 two mirror, then a 14 common, 
23 common, 26 12 mirror, 24 common, 17 common, 18 common, 25 common, 22 common, 10 pound common, 18 pound common, and then I have a 20 pound mirror to start the day off today. Um, yeah, great, absolutely crazy fishing, brilliant fun, exhausting fishing. So other than that, um, I want to keep plodding on, keep trying to wade through these fish to see. I'd love to catch a 50. I'd also love to catch one of the bright orange koi. I've persevered with the right hand margin rod because that's where I've actually seen a lot of koi feeding right on the edge. A lot of these bright orange ones and also a white one with black spots all over it. So I'm persevering with that even though I do keep catching catfish on it. Uh, I've caught a few carp on it as well, up to 26 odd. But I'm going to keep persevering with that one. All the koi that I've caught, I think I've had four now, all the koi I've caught have all been from the margin. I haven't caught any out on the long spot. So uh, yeah, I'll keep persevering, see if I can see if I can get an orange koi, and like I said, I'd love to catch a 50 pounder. I'm, I mean, there's big, big fish in here, 70 plus I think. Um, but it's just a case of getting through them, there's so many carp. And uh, I'll, I'll keep trying my best. I need that wind to pick up because it's about four zillion degrees here today. Uh, and the wind cools it down quite nicely. And I will try and update you again this evening. Until then, back to the spawning. Keeping one rod down the margins, hoping to catch an orange koi. And this isn't completely orange, but he's a really cool colour. But not just that, the other day I said I was really hoping to catch 20 carp. Well, this carp is number 50. It's my 50th carp of the week. I've lost a few, I've caught some cats. I don't know how many bites I've had. I must have had over 60 bites. But this one, not massive, but he's really awesome. And he is number 50 for the week. And I've got one day to go. See if we can go up to 60 tomorrow. Sorry about the massive ginger head. <laughs> Match the fish. <laughs> I'll put him that way, then they can still see it. <laughs> well, you wanted to pinch it, didn't you? I do, yeah. I'm really chuffed with him. I know that not Sorry. everyone likes the old koi, but... How can you not love that? Look at that. enough start to the day that not one twice as big in an ideal world right see you for the next one running out of time and battery 
just caught fish number 60 and it's the orange koi that I wanted super super pleased it's probably about 10 pound I reckon but this is just awesome <laughs> hold it up quick before the battery dies if it will let me look at that how cool is that <laughs> morning guys it's the last morning and uh, I didn't catch any more I ended up with that orange koi um, so I ended up on 60 fish so I can't really complain at that didn't manage to get my 50 but had a blooming good week awful lot of bites I haven't counted up how many bites I've had but uh, must be 75 80 including some catfish and some lost fish and things like that just doing the, the pack up now so uh, you'll see behind me the van Van's half full, look, ready to go. Just got to do the bivy. Just show you the difference between male and female pack ups. There we go. There's Karen helping with the pack up. So yeah, just a bivy to go. And uh, then we'll start the long drive home where I'll do a bit of filming of uh, Lake Como and Switzerland and things like that to show you before we go. But other than that, until next time guys, tight lines.